Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. You know, if this was a Dungeons & Dragons campaign, a bar would have an aneurysm with how many dragons there are in this story already. Don't worry, there's plenty more to come. There might be a point somewhere in this expansion where you might say out loud, Alright, enough with the f***ing dragons already. You will learn to appreciate the dragons as much as you will learn to appreciate the Endless Winter of Ishgard. Time to learn about some all. Simplify. Pull everything up to the first Drake Spur. As you get closer to it, it will spawn Pollen Clusters in a random pattern. Destroy the Drake Spur and the Pollen Clusters will stop spawning in. Melees and tanks should avoid hitting the Pollen Clusters unless it's with distance attacks as they will explode when destroyed and give everyone in melee range an unassumable 15 second poison debuff. Kill everything. Head through the next area and repeat the same mechanics for the next two Drake Spurs. Once you have killed the Ochus of the third Drake Spur, the vines will drop and it's first boss time. When Raskovnik moves into the middle of the room and casts Acid Rain, it will shoot a bunch of acid into the air. There will be medium sized circular AoEs around every player. Just dodge out of the AoE to avoid the acid, which can hit pretty hard. Fire Oto Beam is a medium sized straight line AoE towards a random player. Leaf Storm is a room wide AoE. After you get the boss down below 80%, it will move to the middle of the room and cast Sweet Scent. This will spawn in several Hornets that will start to move slowly towards the boss. These will need to be killed as quickly as possible. One party member will get this yellow gear above their head. This player will need to move away from the Hornets and into an open area of the arena to avoid the Hornets being targeted for the next attack. After a short period of time, the boss will turn to that player and pull in everything in a large conal area and stun them for a few seconds. It will then cast Flower Devour, which will consume anything in the small circular point blank AoE around the boss. If any anything gets eaten by the boss, players or mobs included, it will give the boss a stack of damage up which makes the boss's next room wide attack called Spit hits for much harder. The boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Head up to the next area. Pull the two mobs and two drakes into the small circular area. You'll be unable to progress thanks to the fire blocking your path. Kill everything. A dragon that is untargetable will start throwing fireball AoEs onto the ground at random party members. After a few fireballs, the dragon will come down and become targetable. When you get its health below 50%, it will fly away and the fire blocking your path will disappear. Follow the path to the next circular area, pulling everything along the way where an untargetable dragon will leave ice boulders on the ground spawned from the AoE. They don't take much damage in order to destroy them. If you leave the Ice Boulders alone, they will begin spawning Glacier Sprites, which will explode into medium-sized AoEs if you leave them alone. Kill everything. It's best to destroy the Ice Boulders and Glacier Sprites as fast as possible. After this, the dragon will fly into the arena and become targetable. Just like the previous dragon, it will fly away and reveal your path when you get it below 50% health. Follow the path and kill the pair of enemies along the way, and it's second boss time. Third Leg Ford is a cleaving tank buster, so don't stand with the tank. Overbite is a secondary tank buster. Razor Scales is a large conal AoE, so just move to the side to dodge it. When you get it under 75% health, it will move to the middle of the arena and cast Primordial Roar. This will spawn two red and two blue slimes on the ground. The boss will jump and eat a slime. The slime's color corresponds to what mechanic he will do. If he eats a red slime, he will give a random player a stack marker, so you will need to stack with the rest of your party to share the damage. If he eats a blue slime, this is a small point blank AoE. The player who has this will need to move away from the rest of the party. When the boss casts the second primordial roar, there will be an additional large green slime. It will immediately start casting a move called the last song. Destroy this slime as fast as possible. If you don't destroy this slime, it will explode and it might wipe the party. From here, the boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Head through to the next area. Kill the two pairs of mobs and then kill the dragon after the rocks blocking the path crumble down. After this, you can kill the Ergo Dragon that will spawn in. Following this, the two dragons that you previously fought in the dungeon will hover over the arena and hit targeted players with fireball AoEs and spawn in random ice boulders which will need to be defeated. After three AoEs, they will spawn into the arena and can be quickly defeated. Head up the stairs to the final boss. Abyssic Buster is a huge cleaving tank buster so don't stand with a tank. There will also be random AoEs on the ground that can easily be dodged. TMN will quickly cast Chaos Blast which will have a small AoE at a random point of the arena. TMN will then shoot a lightning ball onto this AoE which will form a series of eight narrow straight line AoEs expanding from the middle of that point. You don't have a lot of time to move out of the AoE, but as long as you aren't near it, you should be okay. When TMN casts Comet, it will target a select number of party members with a coconut symbol over their heads. You'll need to group these up on one side of the arena, which is where you will drop a circular proximity symbol on the ground. When the pulsating symbol appears, just get away from it. The closer you are to this marker, the harder the move will hit you for. Just get to the opposite side of TMN from the markers and you should be okay. When TMN starts to glow, she will become invulnerable and spread her wings, which will now be targetable. If you have a ranged or caster in the group, I'd recommend using the limit break now on both wings to make this easier. Players will randomly get a yellow stone symbol above their head. This will hit the player with an unavoidable attack and also spawn four small AoEs around the player that will need to be dodged quickly. If you take too long, TMN will start casting Dark Star. This is a hard-hitting room-wide AoE and also gives TMN a stack of damage up every time she casts the move. This is almost like a mini enrage. After you have defeated the wings, TMN will lose any stacks of damage up it may have and will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Sam Al. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.